The Technical Assistance Panel, also known as the TAP, worked for the Urban Land Institute Triangle Council, and they recently presented their recommended strategies for leveraging the planned NC Civil War History Center. The city has been chosen as a recipient of this assistance program, which provides impartial and expert advice on a discrete and well-defined problem. The TAP process is typically an intensive two-day process where a multidisciplinary panel explore market potential, land use and design, financing and development strategies, and organization and implementation. For this TAP project, the city has asked, what measures can the city of Fable take to better connect the proposed Civil War History Center to the Haymont Business District and to the other cultural amenities in downtown Fable? Some of the recommendations they came back with include leveraging historic assets, create a sense of place, and create a neighborhood conservation overlay district. Extend neighborhood commercial zoning towards downtown, increase density, and attract diverse commercial and retail opportunities. Improve options for pedestrians by providing more sidewalks, crosswalks, signs, and pedestrian safety devices. Reduce the lanes of Hay Street, Morganton Road, and Fort Bragg Road to improve safety and provide more options for parking and walking. Create a drop-off location for the Kafir Regional Theater. Create a unified image for the Haymont Village Center and surrounding area. Connect the Civil War History Center that is in the pre-planning stages to the Haymont area. The History Center is expected to generate on and off-site expenditures of $5 million annually and a projected annual visitation of 105 to 130,000 people. There's some opportunities to kind of think about how to reposition a couple parts of the center to really focus on, on that connectivity and that pedestrian edge that is so important in uh, urban life and street life. So a lot of our thinking is how do we celebrate that sense of place and you can celebrate it by looking at what's there and adding to it, improving its circulation, improving its uh, physical uh, place, what it looks like, what it feels like, and ultimately by increasing its pedestrian experience. People love places they can walk and so a lot of our work is trying to figure out how can we enhance that walkability of place. Local schools and the public participated in the city's Information Technology Department's Technology Expo, IT Exposed. IT Exposed was held at City Hall and hosted discussion, hands-on demonstrations, and vendors. Some of the topics presented during IT Exposed will include cybersecurity, mobile technology, the Internet of Things, careers in IT, and examples of the uses of IT technology in fire trucks, police cars, and transit buses. The use of technology has grown over the years and is deeply integrated in the daily operations of the city. The goal for the expo is to expose city staff and the community to the technology of today and some of the ways technology supports city services and promotes efficient operations. On March 26, thousands of runners converged in downtown Fable for the fourth annual All-American Marathon and Mike to Mike Half Marathon. Both races started at Festival Park with the route taking runners past the Market House, through Veterans Park, along Morganton Road, and the All-American Freeway before finishing on Fort Bragg. The weather was perfect as more than 3,700 runners tested their medal on our streets. The marathon is a joint effort between the city and Fort Bragg. Organizers are working to grow the marathon to the point it becomes the Army's official marathon. The Fable Fire and Emergency Management Department and the Fable Police Department came out in force in support of Walk a While in Her Shoes, an annual event in support of rape crisis volunteers in Cumberland County. Men traded in their shoes for high heels to show support for victims of sexual assault. Both departments have supported the event since it began, and this year, the fire department was awarded the Team Spirit Award after 25 firefighters came out in turnout gear. On a side note, our videographer learned that if you try to get ahead of the Bragg Rugby Club, they'll see it as a challenge and race you, even if they're wearing heels. The City of Fable's begun a several month long process to conduct a national search for a permanent police chief for the Fable Police Department. The goal of the search is to ensure that the best and brightest candidates emerge from a nationwide recruitment process. The city has contracted with development associates to conduct the search and they've already begun the process by meeting with stakeholders within the community, such as community watch groups, pastors, police officers, and city council members, and asking them what qualities they would like to see in the new police chief. This input is being used to identify qualified candidates and to guide the selection process. If you're unable to make the initial meetings, it's not too late to share your input. Surveys for residents are available on the city's website at fablenc.gov citizen survey. 
While there, you'll also find links to learn more about the search for the next Chief of Fable Police Department.